What's going on guys, The Inhuman Beatdown, I'm back with more Corpse Party. Last time, we gained control of Seiko and Naomi again, and they encountered a g g g g g ghost who uh, dumped exposition on them, basically saying we're in a cursed land that is basically impossible to escape from, but their friends may be here, but on a different plane than them. And if nothing else, it's a fate worth fighting for to die together. And then we came across the child spirit and we... And then someone texted me and scared the shit out of me. Now then, as I was saying, <laughs> they came out and got scared the, scared the shit out by a child spirit and left the room. And I alluded to the last episode that this part is very important. This one part actually got me stuck in this chapter for reasons I'll explain later. So we come over here. That's the wrong button. If you should die here, you'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Heaven's completely cut off. No paradise. No nirvana. Just eternal pain. <laughs> Why did I have to die like that? Yeah. From this, uh, we found an unknown key. Okay, curioso. So... Oh no, wait, this wasn't it. Was it? Maybe it was it. I don't remember. I'm, I'm having second thought. No, no way. Totally was. Okay. I was having second thoughts about it, so. So, we'll feel the pain of death forever. Best not to think about that. Yeah, Seiko's got the right idea. Denial till the end. So from there, we have no choice. Uh, we have to go back in that room because I believe, uh, no, that doesn't break yet. I just don't think you can ever get it back up because there's no other piece of wood that you could get to get to the other side. Weird. All right, so basically, there's now writing on the wall. I can't remember if I can Ah, uh, he just says, help me. Judging by the size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Uh, Misato Municipal Brotherhood Senior High School Class 3-4 Yoshiyuki Shinohara Wait, what? Shinohara? Well, that's someone else's last name! Oh, that's weird. Meet the collectible of the game. Name ID badges. They're left pretty much everywhere someone died. They're not really that important to the game. You can honestly go the entire game without getting them. Uh, they, I really don't know what they, they're just a collectible, honestly. What was written on the board after we left? What the heck is this? Was this here before? No, it was getting written on the board as you two bolted. I paid attention. I don't know. But it's just a picture, right? The image on the board depicts a figure holding a pair of scissors pursuing four smaller figures. I wonder what that could be alluding to. Oh no, wait, I wanna read, uh... I wanna read what this is. <laughs> Heavenly Host Elementary notice to all faculty and students. It says I'm gonna kill you. I wish there was a way to get the uh, text out of the way like in a uh, visual novel, but yeah, it says I'm going to kill you. Also, we have another candle to save our progress. Uh, so this one, no running in the halls. Any student caught running will be severely disciplined. Well, I have no running option, so that's okay. Now then. Uh, you'll know I said I got stuck because of that key. That's because I believe you need that key to open this room. Classroom 3A, the door is locked. The unknown key seems to fit the lock perfectly. The door can now be opened. You must, must go in this room to complete chapter one. I did not know that. 
I got stuck for a while. And I'll explain that at the end of chapter one. <laughs> Nami, what's wrong? I don't know. It's like my heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. I have a really bad feeling about this room. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, trust me, it'll be fine. I mean, it's a locked door, you know what that means, right? Booty! Behind every locked door lies a hidden treasure just waiting to be claimed. Can't you hear it calling to you? I'm gonna kill you! That's all I hear calling me. <laughs> enter! We must enter! Spooky, scary skeletons. <laughs> Another dead body. Yep. A message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor with fingernails. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. I really think we should just leave this room. Something's not right in here. Uh, okay, but I don't know. I'm really curious about that newspaper now. Can't we just take one little peek? Uh, we could certainly take a look at it. Uh, in fact, as I said, uh, we have to. Uh, there is... There's a candle here, but it's unlit. Ooh, wonder what that means. Anyway, let's take a look at the newspaper. Heavenly Post, breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder! Good times. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today, as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely ex excuse me, explanation. Now, investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the, of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18th, 1973, at around 7 p.m. Authorities, authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpses appeared to have its tongue sifted and remitted. Ick mutilations far too get to describe. The page is torn at this point, and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. How awful. I think I heard about this, though, once before. Not me, but I guess it did happen long before we were born, so I shouldn't be too surprised. SLAM! <gasps> the door seems fixed to the wall like a decoration. It won't open! Door seems fixed. Door seems fixed. The door is now stuck. Uh, I forget what I have to do. I think I have to look at the newspaper again. Heavenly Post, you will never leave this room! Huh, I don't remember that being there. Yep. I'm now stuck in here. I forget if it's just a messing with things until shit happens type of thing. Someone's crying. Uh, day duty person. Let me out, 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 let me out. You get the idea. Outside the window, so dimly lit as to be almost in, uh, imperceptible, looms a sheer wall of dense foliage stretching as far as the eye can see. There's not even a hint of what may lie beyond it. I forget if it's just if you just have to mess with shit or keep wandering around until. What the fuck was that? Post, you'll never leave this room. There we go. <laughs> uh, 
I had to wait for this to trigger. Hey, there's no way out. No. Oh, what do we do? This is your fault, you know. <laughs> what? How? You did want to look at the thing. Just never mind. Doors open. Spooky, scary skeletons. Anyways, yeah. So while that didn't look like it added anything to it, that is a necessity. Keep that in mind. Also, if it seems like I'm still trying to reinforce that, it's because I literally got stuck here because I didn't know about it. Because I didn't think to go back to a room that didn't have anything in it until after an event happened where I had to go pick up a key and then go into some event that I didn't know about. Backtracking's a bitch. <laughs> oh man, that scared the crap out of me. Panic sigh. What? Hold up. Oh no. No, it's gone. What is it? The paper doll scrap I got from Ayumi. Oh, the charm? Mine's still my student ID holder. Crap. I put mine in my pocket. It must have fallen out somewhere. That's why I keep telling you you need to put things away before they get lost. Now I'm sad. So while that event looked like it added nothing, trust me it did. That is a necessary event. Admit it, you hate all of your friends. Eventually, you'll kill one another. Thank you, Mr. Sign. I'm still trying to look at this and I'm looking at like the the stuff smearing away. Is that a face or something? Hang on a second. All right, editing powers. Freeze frame that for me. Cause that looks like a face. I'm sure I'll find out when I look at it. I think it totally is. Shit, I've never noticed that. Holy fuck, <laughs> that's cool. Anyways. Uh, let's continue on. Room we can't reach. All right. Yeah, let's get into this. <laughs> oh, oh God! What the hell is this? It's horrifying. It's like somebody was thrown from the other end of the hall at superhuman speed. And just splattered everywhere. Oh, it smells so meaty. Typically bodies do, yes. They are made of meat. <laughs> Gulping. S sorry, are you okay, Naomi? I'm... I'm fine. Let's just get away from here. Okay. Yay! I like how the lighting comes back. I don't know if that's a thing in the actual PSP, or if it's just my emulator, but I find that hilarious. Alright, uh... Oh, look, a board! There's a board laying on the ground. I wonder if that'll help me reach the room up above. I forget if there's anything down here. I don't remember... Oh! Yes. I'm just... Go... Oh, look, another spirit. I'm actually just kind of scouting around right now because I'm not exactly sure. Red room. I'll be able to get into that room for a long time. Anyways, uh, that's where I'm going to end things off for here. So next time, we're going to continue our little adventure. I'm going to actually properly explore all of this with you guys. Silence.
Yeah, it just does that. Also, I love this song. Anyway, so until next time, I will catch you all later. Asta! Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Corpse Party. If you've liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And to stay up to date with all my latest content, please hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to watch these teens wander around this hellish landscape in hopes of trying to escape. But everyone knows the best kind of party is a corpse party. Cause a corpse party don't stop until everyone's dead.